Mixed reactions on this decision. Some parents we spoke with say they are happy to finally see all kids get that option to return to the classroom. While a middle school teacher I spoke with say she's really upset that the board has decided to send everyone back before teachers have been able to be fully vaccinated. It seems everyone can agree on one thing. I think we all want to be back. But when that should happen is where we see the differing opinions. Starting in February, all students in the Salt Lake City School District from kindergarten through high school will have an opportunity to return to the classroom. Some parents are happy about it. We hope uh, that that's happening someday. <laughs> so we was waiting. Yesterday, during a hearing, students and parents suing the district and others over the closed schools shared why they want to get back in the classroom. I'm not getting good grades, and I feel like I don't know really how I'm going to get anywhere if I don't have good grades and not understanding how to do the homework. But for middle school teacher Chelsea Acosta, it's too soon. I cannot, though, with any kind of conscience, be okay with any of us being back in the building until we're vaccinated. The hope heard from school board members and teachers was that secondary kids would not return to the classroom until all teachers had been fully vaccinated. I don't even have my vaccine yet. The vice president of the Salt Lake City School Board admits that's likely not possible, but he says they are confident they can return to the classroom safely. Coupled a vaccine with our, our preventative measures um, and the investments that we've made there, um, that we can mitigate this better transmission as much as we can. Now everyone prepares with PPE in hand to go back to school. Students with the Salt Lake City School District will return to the classroom February 8th. Secondary students will go to school two days a week and then do the other three days online. We are also waiting to hear from a judge about his ruling over some parents that sued the district and others over online schooling. In Salt Lake City, Cindy Glenn, Fox 13 News, Utah.